to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. Here's what we have in store for you for this December 17th, 2013 edition. Tonight, vitamins bad, pharmaceuticals good, according to the mainstream media. Maybe that's because Big Pharma spends 19 times more on marketing than on research. Then, a federal judge rules NSA surveillance unconstitutional. And Obama sells water to China as half the U.S. is in crisis drought. All that and more on tonight's InfoWars Nightly News. And welcome back. Our top story tonight, Snowden, NSA's indiscriminate spying collapsing. National Security Agency leaker Edward Snowden wrote in a lengthy open letter to the people of Brazil that he's been inspired by the global debate ignited by his release of thousands of national security agency documents and that the NSA's culture of indiscriminate global espionage is, quote, collapsing. Now, there's much more that could be said about this article and will be said when David Knight talks to C. Bell Edmonds of the Boiling Frogs Report as they talk about Edward Snowden, NSA, and also Glenn Greenwald. So stay tuned for that report. In other NSA news, NSA phone surveillance program, likely unconstitutional, federal judge rules. Well, thank you for following the Constitution. Judge Richard Leon declared that the mass collection of metadata probably violates the Fourth Amendment, which prohibits unreasonable searches and seizures and was almost Orwellian. He said James Madison, the architect of the U.S. Constitution, would be aghast. And somebody else who was aghast by this situation is Larry Klayman, who went on the Alex Jones radio show today to talk about his own harassment at the hands of the NSA. The minute that we brought these lawsuits against Verizon and all the other cell phone companies and the Internet providers like Google and Yahoo and you name it, uh, we started to receive these text messages that we never sent and, you know, were in fact harassing. And it was clear that the NSA and the government and the Obama administration was trying to scare us. We went forward with the case. We filed motions for preliminary injunction. We argued them in front of the court on uh, November 18th. You can see the transcript and all the pleadings at freedomwatchusa.org. And we told the judge that our government has broken away from the people, that it no longer represents us, that the executive and legislative branches of government have become tyrannical uh, under Obama, and frankly, under the Republicans as well, because they've gone along with this outrage. This is the biggest violation of constitutional rights in American history, that our founding fathers would be turning in the grave to see this, and that he was the last hope of the American people to step in, to stop this outrage, to stop this criminal violation of law. And the judge obviously accepted our argument, and we take our hat off to him. It's out of control. It's out of control. Obama's a socialist, borderline communist. He's sympathetic to Muslim interests. He does everything he can to destroy Israel. And, and frankly, we have somebody in the White House who is evil, plain and simple. And we've got rough Republicans in Congress that are just cashing in on the money. They're happy that people are losing their insurance. They're happy that uh, people and cancer patients are dying because, hey, this is going to help us win the next election. But you know what? You knew about this the whole time. You have experts. You let this happen. You let Obama do it. And they're all in league together. They're just dividing up the riches in Washington. And that's where our country is today. And people that's right. That. And, and, you know, they've had it. They're going to have it because we're going to educate them. And I want to do it peacefully and nonviolently, and we can do it. If Gandhi can do it in India, we can do it here. And from NSA rulings to healthcare.gov admissions, Health and Human Services' Kathleen Sebelius has come out and admitted that, yes, some people will pay more under Obamacare. There are some individuals who may be looking at um, increases. Uh, I think you cannot make a statement based on cost unless you compare what they had to what they're going into. You see how Obamacare works. First they lie about it, then they implement it, and then they get around to telling you the truth about it. It seems to be a, a running gag with these people. So stick around because after this break we'll have more news and a special report from Alex Jones and Anthony Gucciardi.
Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com.